Hello guys, this is Sanvitra Bhumik, ATC from AI and in this video I am going to talk about how to prepare for mathematics section in the technical portion of ATC exam. Uh, as you all know, technical portion consists of 60 marks out of 120 marks in total and the 60 marks is subdivided into 30 marks in physics and 30 marks in mathematics. So let me tell you how to prepare for mathematics uh, syllabus and before that let me talk about the syllabus. See nothing is mentioned properly about the syllabus in the notification. So there is a lot of confusion that the syllabus consists of which portion like 10 plus 2 or engineering level or BSc level or what. So let me tell you the mathematics portion mainly you have to prepare the engineering level that is the gate level like I'm telling you the topics but 10 plus 2 level if not very thorough the basics should be at least no grip like calculus part that is differentiation integration etc a few definitions of coordinate geometry like if uh, an equation is given if an equation is given you should be able to make out it is circle or ellipse or parabola or anything like that because this question these topics will be punched into the other topics like say integration differentiation etc and 3d geometry is also important like if they give you the equation of a plane then that you have to make out like there's an equation of a plane and the double integral or triple integral is asked to find from that the surface the limiting surface or the condition of the surface is as such so this is very important from 10 plus 2 point and from 10 plus 2 other topics can be binomial theorem that is important binomial theorem some questions from sequence and series that can be solved easily using binomial theorem and matrix and determinant that is also very important that is also there in the graduation part but the basics are covered in 10 plus 2 level. So 10 plus 2 level you cannot ignore totally. Just NCRT or any any book, not just NCRT, any 10 plus 2 book that just go through the basics, just revise the basics that so that you can know the formula and you know how to apply the formula. That's it. No need to go very deep like there's no need to go up to J level or something like that. There is no need. Just board level are simple problems and simple problems. You just plug in the formula and get the answer and just know the basics. That's it. Now coming to the graduation part, what to study and what not to see. In short, if I tell you, the gate syllabus of any engineering branch, let's say electrical, mechanical, civil, etc. That gate syllabus is sufficient to cover the syllabus up to 70 to 85 percent. 85 percent, let me say. 85 percent it can cover easily. Like the topics like matrix, the eigenvalue, eigenvector, there are many questions from that. Then properties of eigenvalue, eigenvector, these things are very important. Then let's say complex analysis, complex analysis, Riemann Cauchy theorem, etc. Like these things are very important. Complex integration, they always give complex integration. Then complex number, uh, plotting the complex number, argon plane. These things are also there in 10 plus 2 also, but in engineering, these are in depth. So these things you need to cover. And now coming to calculus, very important. Calculus, as I said, the fundamentals of 10 plus 2, that is the single variable calculus, should be very, you should be thorough with it. Now, let me tell you. Definite integration is more important. In indefinite also some questions come. So indefinite also you need to brush up because what happens after a lot of years indefinite integration people tend to forget because indefinite integration is something which we are not into. Like it's the basic things we know but suppose something with log and all comes then we struggle. So indefinite integration please revise just the formula and all and a few problems from any normal book like Ardi Sharma or any book which you have done. Nothing new. Whatever you have done you do it. And definite integral is important, like area under the curve, etc. And iterative integrals, like one integral which reduces to the other forms of integrals, and it reduces and reduces and forms a pattern. So that type of integral is very important. And now the next topic comes that is calculus in two variables, like differential calculus, integral calculus, and differential equation. Also, differential equation of I'm coming in two variables there is partial derivative is very important because partial derivative the theorems and the proofs and the direct questions also come integral calculus also double integral triple integral you may not be asked to uh, solve the full double integral triple integral but you may be asked questions like change in order of integration or form the integral from the options itself now differential equation is also a very important topic because differential equation questions come directly they will ask you ask you to solve if you are clever enough you can use the options also to arrive at an answer because there is no negative marking and time is less also partial differential equation this topic is not there in gate for electrical engineering and electronics engineering but this may be there in gate for mechanical and civil i'm not sure because i'm myself from electrical so this topic if it is not there in your gate syllabus you study it separately if it is there then no need to worry and 
a few topics are may be there from calculus which may not be covered in gate but they are covered in the semester or in the engineering mathematics book which you have so you need to cover all the topics at least you should know the top know the formula that's it like method of undetermined coefficient this thing is not taught much but you need to know this like you need to know some tricks how to find the particular integral of the differential equation because these things will strike you at the exam you will not remember at that time so these things you need more practice this is what i feel as an aspirant i was an aspirant two years ago i cracked this exam so i felt these things are some are something which can help an aspirant to get a better score and there are certain topics uh, let me cover one more thing vector calculus vector calculus is like curl divergence gradient this is also a very important topic which needs focus like curl finding curl finding divergence these things will come like stokes theorem green's theorem etc stokes theorem gauss theorem these theorems direct application will come like if you are doing it in a straightforward manner then the question will be very long but if you apply the theorem it will be very easy so this is one more uh, thing and one more thing is that there are certain topics like group theory one or two questions may come from group theory set theory set theory also certain things may come which the bsc students are familiar with because they have studied even uh, even as far as i know even bsc students also those who are not having mathematics honors or mathematics those who are not studying they don't put so much stress on these topics so i will tell if you want to if you want to study these topics you go otherwise there are many other topics also and one more important topic which i will advise not to skip that is sequence and series like convergence test divergence test ratio test delimbert test etc these tests and all questions come from this like 4 to 5 marks 5 to 6 marks come so this this topic is better not left so that is all about the syllabus and the important topics now talking about the books like if you are preparing for gate then solve all the previous year gate questions and your notes and any book that you are following there is no specific book like one book i can say that is a very important book that is higher engineering mathematics by b s grewal uh, you can get this book you can buy this book and this book is better bought as a hard copy instead of reading it from pdf or any online soft copy because this book actually is a, is a very thick book but don't get afraid don't get afraid by the size of the book because this book because what you need in the atis exam is just the formula and working knowledge of how to do the problems like in this book every proof every detail is given in a very lucid manner but in atis exam you don't need the proof so much you just need how to apply the formula so you study accordingly and you can touch every topic from this book from the aforesaid mentioned topics or anything else you like and that will be very helpful and so that's for that's all for this video and i will be coming up with other videos also thank you